Welcome to Suzanne, our latest monthly winner in Football Fan of the Year. Suzanne plays professional football still and has also played 37 times for Scotland. She's been nominated by her mum and I'm delighted that both Suzanne and mum Karen join us now. Welcome Suzanne, welcome mum Karen, lovely to chat to you both. Suzanne, where was that spark first lit for the game of football? Did you grow up in a, in a footballing family? I was kind of in and out of teams, in and out of football for a while until it got kind of 16, 17 years old where I was in a team in a proper set up um, and then able to progress and keep improving then. Karen, you obviously saw the competition and thought of Suzanne. Just, just tell us a little bit about why you, you nominated her for it. To me, she is a fan of football, all football. You know, whether it be training, whether it be um, playing, whether it be representing, whether it be watching, anything at all football, and that's Suzanne. So that's why I thought that that's definitely my girl. Well, we are very, very pleased that you did nominate Suzanne. The judges obviously loved it. And our chief judge, and you'll have to forgive me here, because he is an England yeah. legend, I can use that word. But Alan, meet Suzanne and meet Mum Karen. Suzanne, how are you? And hello, Mum Karen. Nice to meet you, Alan. So how did you get into the scholarships and what have you in, in America? A few girls that I know asked me to help them out with it. Um, and then just absolutely, as soon as I started doing a bit of research, just fell in love with it. There's a, an age group around, around about, you know, 15 up to 21, where so many young players, male and female, just fall away from the game, having the opportunity to go away and grow as a player and also a person. Brilliant. Oh, well done, man. Very good. Suzanne, you are keeping busy and, and you're keeping people busy by running your, your weekly Zoom aerobics classes. And I can just picture Mr. Shearer in the Lear chart <laughs> joining in on that. <laughs> but, but joking apart, it is important. You, you found it's important to keep people active during these, these challenging times. And um, For me, it's just, it, it's really important not only to keep fit for when football starts back again, but obviously for people's mental health and to make sure that they're staying active and their minds, you know, active and healthy as well. Now, it was mum, obviously, who nominated. There's a thousand pounds to spend on a football experience of your choice. Suzanne, just tell us how this thousand pounds is going to be spent. Definitely going to, you know, um, spend it on the athletes that I sign up. A, a lot of them, you know, maybe come from um, backgrounds where they've not had a lot of great experiences. For me, you know, it, it's the same as when I scored a goal. It was a great feeling, but watching somebody that I've helped score a goal is more rewarding now. It's the same I want to give to these, you know, young athletes. Absolutely fantastic, Al. I'm sure you'll absolutely echo that. And, and that's that passion for football that, that Mum was talking about. There is a £10,000 prize, potentially. How would you spend that that £10,000, Suzanne? Again, I would, you know, basically give it back to the young kids. Put on a training camp so they can experience what it's like to all be together as a team and to go away. Just so they can, they can be, basically be immersed in football. Well done. Magnificent. Absolutely fantastic. I can't let you both go, Suzanne and Alan. Obviously, we have a huge England-Scotland match to look forward to this <laughs> summer. What's going to happen? Scotland win, hopefully. <laughs> I think it'll be, it'll be Euro 96 all over again, Dave. Ah, there we go. Listen, I'd like to thank you all, Mum, particularly you, for nominating Suzanne. It's been brilliant hearing your story. It really is. As I say, the judges, led by Al, loved it. Thank you very much, all of you.